today's video is going to be a beauty haul video. I picked up some stuff from like drugstores and I also picked up some items from Sephora during their VIP Rue sale recently. And I kind of just wanted to share them with you guys because they did come out with a bunch of holiday items that I thought were a great deal. So I wanted to just share that with you guys before any of the items sell out in case you guys wanted to pick them up. And then I also got a couple of items from Ofra Cosmetics that I wanted to show you guys and also from like Target and Walmart. Um, there's not a bunch of stuff that weren't from Sephora, but I just thought I'd kind of just throw them in there since I recently bought these items. So if you guys would like to see what I have purchased recently in the beauty category, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I have my huge Sephora bag here, and I just wanted to go through like the non, I guess you could say like the non-Sephora items that I purchased. The first item that I wanted to show you guys, this is my receipt, but I'm going to keep candy. Um, the first item that I wanted to show you guys were from Ofra Cosmetics, and I should have had all this laid out beforehand. And I picked up their liquid lipsticks. I got them in five different shades. The five shades that I picked up are Mocha, Pasadena, which is a city near me, um, a Miami Fever, this is the one by Kathleen Lights. This one is called Mina, and this one is like a plum color. And this one is called Americano. To be honest, when I first got these in the mail, I thought that some of the colors looked very similar to each other, so I was kind of scared how they would swatch. Right now, I am wearing Pasadena on my lips. So this is what Pasadena looks like. But if you guys want like a full swatch video, I only have five of the shades, but I can insert like maybe pictures of the other shades. And by the way, the Ofra liquid lipsticks are $19. I don't know if Kathleen's Coupon code is still working, but if it is, I think it's Kathleen40 and that'll get you 40% off of the lipsticks. So, moving on, next item is from Ulta and this is the Lorac Pro Mega 2 palette. This one you guys saw in my previous video where I mentioned my October favorite, so I do love this palette. This one, it has, I talked about it a little bit in my other video. But this one it basically has 16 matte shades and 16 shimmer shades and I think this is just a perfect holiday gift to get someone, especially if you're looking in that $50 range. You can spend a little bit more and get this palette and I promise you they're going to love it. I missed out on the other palette and I really regret not getting it, but definitely if you miss the other palette or if you just want another Mega Pro palette, get this one because this one is beautiful and I always love... Lorac packaging for their palettes. Honestly, theirs are my favorite. I have the Lorac Pro palette and I have this one and I just like how sleek it is. It's nice and matte. It does get dirty easily, but that doesn't really bother me. But it's just nice and sleek so you can take it with you to travel and I don't know. I just think it's really, really nice. Next item that I did not get from Sephora was this Real Techniques brush cleanser. Brush cleanser, yeah. So uh, this one I believe was about $7, so it's a very inexpensive brush cleanser. I have not tried this out yet, but I do love like the Real Techniques brand. I love their brushes. They're probably one of my <coughs> excuse me. They're one of my like favorite brush lines. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I was like, well, if they make really good brushes, I'm assuming they make a really good cleanser for it. And I was like, it was only seven bucks, so you might as well try it. This one is 5.1 ounces, and I'm going to give this a shot because I don't know. I've never tried a brush cleanser besides like mixing Dawn soap with olive oil and I've also used like the Beauty Blender cleanser but that one is pretty pricey so I don't want to use that all the time on my brushes so I was like you know what this is maybe like a cheaper alternative to use to clean my brushes. Is that all the non Sephora items I have? Oh! So the last item that I did not get from Sephora, I actually got these from Target. These are my favorite lashes that I've been using every day. I'm wearing them right now. They are the Ardell Wispies. And the reason why I like these is because I feel like they're they're pretty long and they're pretty dramatic, but they're I think they're natural enough to wear like every day. And also if you guys wanted to make them a lot more dramatic for the nighttime, you can just double stack these. I think they have some that already come double stacked, but I don't know, I've tried to double stack these and they turned out beautifully. I'll leave a picture right over here with me double stacking these. And I just like, I don't know, I just like cheaper lashes. These were like maybe $3. To me, I can't justify spending like $30 on a pair of lashes because I cannot, like I just don't feel like I take care of my lashes enough to buy really, really, really expensive lashes. I feel like I can get at least five wears out of them before like having to toss them out. So 
I don't know, you get pretty good use out of these and they're really, really inexpensive and these are just the ones that just flatter my lash, flatter my eyes the most. So, now onto the like exciting part that I wanted, ugh, I don't know, I've been waiting to like show you guys this stuff because, I don't know, I was just really excited that I got everything on sale. So I'm going to start off with the items that I already have, but I just got like another one of. So the first thing is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in chocolate. This one I have, mine is still going strong, um, but this one is for my sister, but she wanted a brow product, so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to get this for her. And this one is, like I said, the Dip Brow Pomade in chocolate, and this was $18. So the next item that I already have that I just got an extra one of, I have the travel size of this one. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Milk Chocolate Bronzer. And, oh my goodness, Too Faced just always kills it with the packaging because look at how beautiful this is. And this one is for my skin tone. This one's just the milk chocolate one. They do have a deeper one. I believe it's the dark chocolate. And that one is, I have used that one before, but right now my skin is just so fair that this is the one that's just been working for me. Um, but yeah, this is one of my favorite bronzers. The other favorite bronzer that I have is the Hula Bronzer, but this is just the one that I've been grabbing. So the rest of these items I have never tried before, but because I had the discount, I wanted to buy all this stuff just so that I can try it out. Okay, so the first item that I want to show you guys is, oh, I'll just grab over here. It's the Paracone MD No Makeup Skincare No Foundation Foundation Serum. I wanted to get something that was very light on my skin. My skin has recently been kind of going crazy because of the weather. Um, it's been very cold here. It changed, basically changed from super hot to super cold in Southern California. So my skin just kind of like broke out like crazy. So I just wanted something to lightly like put on my face. I'm not wearing this today. I'm actually trying out the other foundation that I bought. But I did try it out and I did like it. It's very, very light. It doesn't give you very much coverage but it does even out your skin tone and because my face is a lot paler than my neck just naturally and I, my neck is already pale um, this just evens out my skin tone and it just makes me look a little bit more awake so I paid $60 for this that does sound like kind of a lot for just a little tiny bottle like this but you don't use that much every single time so you'll definitely get really good use out of this if you guys have tried this let me know what you guys think about it because so far I'm liking it um, but I don't know if it was worth the splurge Next item is this Tatcha Polished Classic Rice Enzyme Powder, and this basically, I saw this at the samples, like when I was waiting in line, and that part always kind of just suckers me into buying things I really don't need. But this is a daily exfoliant cleanser and toner in one. This creamy water activated powder lives at the heart of the geisha's daily ritual. A blend of rice and papaya extracts release debris from the skin, instantly revealing baby soft skin. Whenever something says it'll get you baby soft skin, you kind of want to try it. This was like 15 bucks. I don't know exactly how long this is going to last me, but I am really excited to try this out. Okay, so the next item is, oh, I actually have two Laura Mercier products, and you guys can probably guess what they are. I've never tried these before, but I've heard a lot about them on YouTube. This one is the loose setting powder, um, the translucent powder. This one is the secret brightening powder. So the translucent one, you get a lot of product. I think this is, let's see one ounce and then this one is 0.14 of an ounce so I tried this out today the translucent powder I haven't tried this one yet I tried this today and it's actually on my face right now I used it with a beauty blender and just kind of pat it in put it on and then right after I just kind of dusted off the extra powder and let me tell you this lives up to the hype so far I am absolutely loving this it doesn't make you look cakey at all because I think the powder is so fine it doesn't leave you cakey like a lot of powders will and I don't know, I'm just absolutely loving it so far. So for the translucent powder, this one was $37, and the secret brightening powder is $25. The next item is the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. I got it in the shade Vanilla. I think this shade is a little bit too pink for me. I have it on my skin today. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera. Maybe I just blended it out okay today I don't know but I basically took it down like all the way to my neck just in case but I think it's a little bit too pink to me um, the first day that I wore this honestly it looked very cakey on my skin I think it just kind of emphasized all the dry I think it I mean honestly it might have been my skin because my skin hasn't been like the best lately but it just emphasized like the dryness around my like t-zone which is weird because I get oily in my t-zone so I don't know why that why that happened but um, I did exfoliate my face 
and then I tried it again and I'm using it today and it looks a lot better so just make sure if you are using this foundation I don't think it's really good for dry skin girls but if you're oily do make sure that your skin is still exfoliated because it will emphasize like any type of texture on your skin and this is $39 for one fluid ounce of product so the last two items are the ones that I was most excited to share with you guys because these are the holiday sets or these are holiday sets that came out in Sephora and oh my god they are such a good deal the first one is by Glam Glow I'm sure you guys have heard of Glam Glow before but basically they make like these masks like the tingle mud treatments and I've tried their I think it's the one with the black cap. I've tried that one before and I did like it. So I wanted to pick up this one. This one is the Thirsty Mud one. It comes with a full size of the Thirsty Mud uh, mask. And it also comes with like a sample size of the clearing treatment. And it also comes with a sample size of the matching cleanser and also an applicator brush. So you get a very good deal when you get this whole set. This set was, oh, let me see, let me see, let me see. This set was, where is it, 75 bucks. But considering the fact that it has a full size of a mud mask is absolutely amazing. That is that one, and this last one I think is the best deal ever. Like, ever. This set, let me tell you, is $75. When I was about to pay, I saw a lady that literally like cleared off the shelves of where this product was because I think she just thought it was a really good deal, like it is. This is the Peter Thomas Roth mask set. If you guys have not heard of these masks, I've heard a lot of great things about them, um, but I honestly wasn't really sure whether I wanted to try like one or the other. I was kind of just debating like, oh, should I try the cucumber one or should I try the rose stem one? And this one comes with all five of them. It comes with the cucumber gel mask, the rose stem cell mask, the 25K gold mask, the pumpkin enzyme mask, the Irish more mud mask, um, but it comes with five. Each of them are 1.7 fluid ounces. I honestly wish I picked up more of these during the 20% off sale because they ended up being maybe like $65, $70. Um, but 75 bucks for this is such a great deal. It says it's a $206 value, so if you guys really, really are into masks, go pick this up because this is honestly one of the best deals I've ever seen at Sephora. So that concludes my beauty haul video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this. I hope it gave you some ideas on like what to get people for Christmas. I'm going to be coming out with like gift, like actual like videos of like gift guides for girls, boys, all that kind of stuff, um, but I thought this was like just a great like sneak peek into like what Sephora has right now. They have a bunch of other items that I didn't show you guys, but just go check out their holiday sets because, oh my goodness, they have so many great deals going on there right now. I know I've been like talking about Sephora this whole time and how great they are. This is not sponsored by them. I just purchased all this stuff with my own money and I just wanted to share with you guys what great deals I got and hopefully you guys can get them too. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys want to see next. I talked about it on my Snapchat. I don't know if I want to start rolling out Christmas videos already. It's kind of soon but I'm already kind of feeling like the Christmas spirit just because all stores, malls, and all that kind of stuff have their Christmas trees up. So let me know if you guys would like to see Christmas videos soon. If you guys have not subscribed to my channel yet, I put out new videos every single week. Click right up there or down in the description box if you are watching on a phone or a tablet. And also click right over here to watch my latest two videos. And like I said, if you guys can't click right here, then click down below because the links will be all in the description box for you. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video.